Hi, in this lesson we're going to learn about logical operators. Like other data types, Booleans also have operators. One subgroup of Boolean operators we will learn about are called logical operators. A logical operator is a symbol or word used to connect two or more Boolean values or expressions. In JavaScript, there are three logical operators, the NOT operator, the AND operator, and the OR operator. Let's take a look at the NOT operator. The NOT operator is denoted by an exclamation point and reverses the value of the Boolean expression. Let's take a look at an example here. In this program, you can see that the value of is light on is set to true. When we print it out, we see a true statement. If we add the NOT operator in front of the variable, the Boolean expression becomes the opposite of what it was. In this case, the expression evaluates to false, and we see that printed out. It is important to note that the value of is light on is still true, but the NOT is light on evaluates to false. The AND operator evaluates to true if both of its operands are true and false otherwise. The AND operator is denoted as two ampersands with no spaces and requires two Boolean values as operands to evaluate. One way to view Boolean expressions is what we call a truth table. Truth tables show us all the possible values for our Boolean variables and the resulting value of the expression. Here's a truth table for the AND expression. Notice how the only way the expression evaluates to true is when both Boolean values are true. If either x or y is false, our expression is false. Logical operators are typically used to evaluate whether two or more expressions are true or not true. For example, we can use two Boolean variables in the AND operator to determine whether someone should be permitted to attend an event that requires both to be an adult um, and to have a ticket. When both is adult and has ticket is true, the expression evaluates to true. If one or more of the values is false, it evaluates to false. For example, if the person was an adult but did not have a ticket, this program returns false. The OR operator evaluates to true if at least one of the operands are true and false otherwise. The OR operator is denoted as two pipe symbols found about the return or enter key on the keyboard with no space and requires two Boolean values as operands to evaluate. A truth table for the OR operator would look like this. Notice in this case that the expression evaluates to true if either X or Y are true. The only way to get a false expression is when both x and y are false. Let's look at another example where we want to determine whether a user is a valid active customer on, of an online shop based on whether they have an account or have made a past purchase. In this case, the expression evaluates to true since has past purchase evaluates to true. The expression will only be false if both values are false. Because Boolean expressions with logical operators evaluate to true or false, we can use them as conditionals of an if-else statement. This program states that if there is lightning or if the field is flooded, the game is canceled. In this example, is lightning is true, so when we run the program, the game is canceled and is printed to the console. However, if both these variables are false, then play on will be printed to the console. Let's explore some examples of how we can use logical operators in our code. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. So in this example, we're having, we use two different Booleans, has scar and is named Harry, and we're creating a third variable, is Harry Potter, and that is evaluated to be has scar and is named Harry. Um, and so we can then use this Boolean expression in our conditional statement. So when we run this, it says you are a wizard, Harry, because both Haskar and is named Harry are true. Now if I change one of these to false and I run it, you'll see that the else condition evaluates because both conditions are not true and I'm using an and. 
Now, just for a hypothetical perspective, let's just take a look and say, what if I change that to an or statement? Now, if I run this, you'll see that it still evaluates to true because one of them is true. They don't both have to be true. And likewise, I can actually take this piece here and just kind of cut the middleman out and put that piece there um, and have that ex evaluate right in that expression right there. So if I run that, you'll see it still does the same thing. You're a wizard because Haskar is true. And even though Haskar is true, um, it doesn't matter what is named Harry because one of them is true. Now with the or, if they're both false, then you'll see my evaluation or my expression evaluates to false in that case. So that's the example. Go ahead and play around with it on your own.